Hey guys, Stake here for Games Defined and in this tutorial we're going to do normal mapping. We're going to make this low poly object appear to have these details from this high poly object. First thing you want to do is after creating your high poly object you want to have a low poly version of that and it needs to be unwrapped so I'll just show you my UV unwrap pretty simple. There's the front you know this sides like that it's you it's really easy to see how it's unwrapped there's a video that I uploaded on unwrapping so I'll put a link up here if in case you want to watch that so just go ahead and click that and then come back to this when you're more prepared but for those of you who are up to date so to speak this is what you do so I'm just going to convert this to an editable poly which preserves the UVs as ha as I've laid them out. Right, we need to select the low poly object and come up to rendering and click render to texture or press zero on the keyboard. Then while it's still selected I'll go through all of these settings for you the output is just basically where you want to save it so just click that and choose where you want it I've got it on the desktop next you come down to this render settings leave that at blank and preset leave that at blank you don't have to change them you should see the low poly object named under that uh, keep it at enabled and keep the padding at 2 where it says projection mapping that will be unchecked enable it and you should see nothing here what you got to do is click uh, pick and if your objects are named correctly there will be less confusion you should see the high poly object named if you don't you might have this off so make sure this is on you'll know by having a blue box behind it so add that like that your, your cage for your projection might look weird but we're gonna sort that out after so don't worry about that for the minute the thing next thing is leave the mapping coordinates at channel 1 or whatever channel you've got it on um, click let's delete that click add under the output and click normals map then it might it might say something here it might not but I've done it loads of times where it doesn't say anything and it comes up with with an error saying target map slot is empty or something but it'll all be fine choose your map size this isn't the real size so if it was just cupboard doors aren't that big so I'd, I'd probably do 512 by 512 but for this one I'm just going to do 1024 by 1024 scroll down bake material you, you don't really need to worry about that and leave you don't do automatic mapping so that's all the settings you need next you gotta make sure these two are aligned with each other so if you just click your low poly object click align up here which, is, which should be 9 from the right and then click the high poly object if the, uh, if the gizmo is in the center of a centrally aligned with both of your objects then you sh you'll have no problem and it will align like this with them selected I'm just I'm just gonna center it just how I work have everything in the center now with the low poly object selected you need to come under the projection and click cage let's see where is it here let's keep that on and just have cage on the amount uh, put this percentage back to zero if you see it how mine was and you should have this the amount changes the amount the size of your cage percentage pretty much 
does the same thing in some cases. Percentage gets it wrapped fully around your object while the amount changes how big your cage is. So just have the percentage back. Another way to make sure it's fully selected is to have shaded on. So click that and as you can see the amount goes down. You can see what's shaded. The best thing to do is to get it as close to the high poly object as you possibly can. That way we're not losing any detail. So like this bit here, it's not really covered, but if you change the amount, you know, it, it can lose detail in other places. So if you get the front and back or the most important areas covered like that. then you can manually change the cage if you go to the vertex mode then select them all and then drag it in line and then probably yeah the same for the bottom let's go to the top view and do the same here and then the same there and then we'll move the front ones out just to be safe uh, that will do ok once you've got that done you can go back to the rendered texture pressing 0 for the shortcut and since all your settings are done all you have to do is click render and watch what happens so when it's done you might, you'll have something that doesn't look like a normals map, but uh, don't worry, it will look like a normals map. So once you've got it, you don't need it anymore. So I'm gonna uh, cross that off and cross this off. You don't need your projection map anymore, and I'm just gonna hide the high poly version. So I'm stuck with the low one. Okay, now we just need to apply this. So, like shown you on one of my first tutorials, just the same. Well, what I shown you was actually how to add a material using that. If you go down to maps, click on bump, click on none next to that, and click normal bump. Then if you click normal again and go to bitmap, go to the desktop where your thing was, you, sh you should see it, a target file and this is the preview of it. So press open and if you double click your, uh, your material, whatever that is, then you can see your normals map like that. You can change the shape you can change your your geometry by holding the button at the top down and then just moving it along I've got the square because it makes more sense but I'll just go back to that if you go up to this again you can change the intensity of it so let's change it from 1 to 2.5 and it looks more detailed so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just leave it at that and then because it's already added to that we're gonna render this out and see what re result we get as you can see that's the normals map that we applied it looks pretty good to me so if we just unhide the high poly version like that and just drag them both to the center you can see what we have created which is this which looks pretty awesome I seriously can't tell which one is modeled if I was to look at it myself you know if I was to look at it from a point of view where I didn't model it it looks 
wicked so you can see the bits in the middle you can't see as well so what I'm going to try and do is up the bump to let's see 80 and then render it it's a bit better but it's it's a bit weird so pull that down to 30 and change it here to 4 it's not really helped but it looks wicked nonetheless so let's get out of that <laughs> and there is your normal mapping in another one I'll I'll go over how to do this but using X normal which is a third party software which is really cool so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learnt a lot I'll see you next week for another one thanks for watching